obviously we have lived in quite different world for the past two years. So how has it actually been to you? Oh God, it's hard to sum it up. Um, high highs and low lows. <laughs> um, naturally, you know, uh, this has just been an incredibly tumultuous time uh, for the world. Um, we really, really created our record for the most part in 2020. Um, we had just started the writing process like here and there in between tours in like 2019. Um, and we'd recorded four songs in like January of 2020. And then right before we were going to go on our tour, everything happened. So instead, you know, we were stuck in this lockdown, you know, world of not knowing what was next and not being able to plan. And I feel like that that's an interesting thing that's carried over to now is like, there's sort of this new attitude of like, well, we don't know what's going to happen. We don't know if we have tomorrow. So let's make today the best that we can, like put that forward into something amazing. And, and 2020 was this time for us where we had a choice to make, like, well, we can just sit here, you know, and worry and wait, or we can just start releasing our songs now because maybe putting something good into the world is a good thing and um, focus on writing the rest of the album. So I spent a lot of time in this room right here. This is my studio at my house um, and just created ideas by myself. And um, the band did the same. Like we sent each other files across the internet and, uh, you know, waited for the time that we could finally um, get back together and found a new way to do it. And there was just a new purpose it felt like to what we were doing um because it felt like maybe you know this music that we were writing that a lot of it was just really coming out of grief and um frustration and and then this new found like hope you know belief in the future you know um against all odds <laughs> that uh felt like it was worth something and 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 more meaningful than just being about ourselves and our own struggles and our own lives um, and felt like maybe it was a way for us to connect with the rest of the world. So um, we spent our time focusing on making music that we love. Um, so that really got us through it. It was like our, our world and our lifeline, like to have this beautiful music to make. And now um, we've just finally started touring again in November. Um, and it was different, you know, it's different now. There's, a, you have to be very careful. There's all kinds of precautions, especially in November. It was, it was big time it's starting to change and open up a little bit now, which is great. Uh, but, you know, to be able to step back on stage again after not doing it and not knowing if and when we'd ever be able to do it again, you know, for two years, it is such an incredible, beautiful gift. And we just have a new appreciation for, for what we're able to do. So for finally getting to come back to Finland, back to Europe, across the pond, and we are just so incredibly excited to see you again and play. I guess everyone in Europe is waiting for the US bands to come finally overseas again, I because know. it's it's been quite a long time to it see has. like any foreign bands. Yes. So speaking about the tour you did with Hailstorm, what kind of like overall experience it was? Obviously you were very excited about to play the shows, but what was like the rest of the life like? Well, in we're, we're, land. we're friends with Hailstorm, longtime friends. Uh, I, Lizzie and I are, are close friends, and um, it just felt really good to be going back out with people that we love to be with because tour, you know, the main focus for all of us, we're professionals. The main focus is about making an incredible show, um, and there's a lot of work um, and thought that goes into that. But the other part of it is who you're spending your time with, you know, and who what you get to do for the other 22 and a half hours of the day. <laughs> yep. So getting to be with each other, especially when, you know, we were in a place of total lockdown, like no guest list, nobody backstage, no VIP, just total isolation from everything but us. Like we're friends with our crew. We're friends with Hailstorm and their crew. So, you know, we'd get to see each other a bit and then play our show and do our job and collaborate on stage. And then at the end of the night, listen to music together and have a few drinks and like have it feel like normal again, like in a really the first way that it had in so long. So it was an extremely positive experience. And we had a lot of really incredible female talent um, at the show because we had uh, two different openers across the tour. Uh, one was Plush. We're a brand new all girl band. They're kick ass. Okay. Um, and they're very young. Um, and uh, Lilith Czar, and she's amazing too. So just to get to have like, you know, 
girl gangs hanging out together and like rocking the scene feels really good too. <laughs> <laughs> so obviously you played quite a lot of new songs live. I actually watched the last last show set list from the US tour and you played like eight songs. Yeah. So that's quite a lot. I know. New album. Well, we think it's really good. Like, you know, we, it's been a long time and we have toured, you know, in between the two albums. So we've really had a chance to play our other songs a lot, you know, and it's wonderful, like, but having all these new ones that are such a representation of us now, it just, I mean, we wish we could play the whole entire album. Um, But, you know, we just, I don't have the voice to sing for long enough to do the whole entire album plus another album worth of songs. So it's tough. Now we got to make like tough choices. But we're planning on bringing, for the most part, you know, that set list to Europe, too, because we have a beautiful show that we just really want to share. But we'll change it up a little bit. But obviously, you, as, as I mentioned, you played quite a lot of new songs. So did it felt like very refreshing in a way also <laughs> exactly. to bring all those new exactly. stuff to the set? Yes, yes. Um, in every way, yes. Like... We've played our other ones enough that that's wonderful and it's comfortable and it feels good. And of course, like the hits, like it's great to get everybody singing all along. But um, this album means a lot to us um, and to have so much fresh stuff to see how it works live. And um, like I said, when we came together, we were so excited to finally jam in a room together again. The songs are very much geared to a live show. Like we were dreaming of that. So um, yeah, we can't help it. We got to play a lot of new songs. <laughs> So obviously you will be coming to Finland in June and you will be playing in June 90 at Nokia Arena, brand new Nokia Arena. Ah, I heard. Same, same I saw that they're actually playing the ice hockey world championships. Oh, really? Yep. I heard it's beautiful. I heard it's on top of a, a railway. Yeah, there's been there's been two shows so far. Nightwish cool. played there, it was sold out, and Ghost played there and it was oh, nearly sold cool. out. I, I went That's to both cool. and, and yeah, it's 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 very good place to play. Awesome. I'm really looking forward to it. So last time actually you were in Finland and we also met during an interview, you played okay. at Rockfest Festival. Oh, okay, cool. 2017. So yeah. do you actually happen to have like any memories? From your Where past, was that in Helsinki, Rockfest? Right. Uh, I think it was Huvinka, but yeah, near Helsinki. Okay. Okay. Um, yeah. I. I mean, just that we were having a great time being on tour. I don't have like a big giant funny antidote for that, but we love our fans. We love our fans in Finland. Um, it's always been a good time. It's fun to come up to that part of the world. It's a special treat for us. I think um, the same way that you talk about, like looking forward to foreign bands it's a special exciting thing for us to get to go to another country and like experience your culture and taste your food and and meet you and see what it's it's like you know um so yeah just just a beautiful time we had a lovely time here last time yeah looking forward to it have you ever experienced a so-called party boat from sweden to finland yes of course (laughs) uh and i i've done it i've done it the party way and i've done it the shh (laughs) <laughs> stay in the garage and stay sleeping on the bus way, <laughs> even though you're not supposed to. <laughs> uh, I, I I tend to these days kind of go for the sh- stay on the bus underneath. <laughs> yeah, the older so the, it's always you the get, middle the, of the worse night. the hangover also gets. So <laughs> yes, it's not good to be on a boat when you're hungover. <laughs> no, it isn't. You learn these lessons <laughs> along the way. <laughs> yeah, and, and if you are like sort of easy to get seasick, then it it's like double trouble. So oh yeah, yep. Yep, I know exactly what you're talking about. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so my time is shortly running out with you. So it was pleasure once again to catch with you. And and I really hope to catch you in June in Finland. Anything you want to say as Please last do. words I... to all the Finnish fans? Thank you for waiting. We love you. And we are so excited to come and play our new show for you. I I can't wait. I do hope to see you there. Be there. Looking forward to come that. Come see me. Okay. All right. Sounds good. Hey, thanks, Amy, a lot for the chat. Thank you. Take try care. To, try you to stay healthy and, and let's okay. let's see you in too. June. You too. See you then. Yeah. Take Bye. care. Bye.